Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's June 2nd. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Morgan, thanks for joining us this week. Uh, the last time we were here was two weeks ago before the Memorial Day headline. We talked a lot about the looming debt ceiling crisis. Uh, happily, that crisis seems to be averted. The uh, debt ceiling uh, limit increase passed the Senate last night and is on its way to the president's desk. Uh, so we can focus back on the economy, focus back on inflation trends. We got some economic data this week and a fairly significant move in the markets. What did you watch? Definitely. Um, so despite the holiday week, we saw a decent sized calendar. It was right around seven and a half billion. We saw outflows continue for the 16th consecutive week and treasuries were you know, tighter across the curve. So as of this morning, kind of prior to that number you're referring to, five-year treasuries were about 12 basis points tighter, 10-year were about 15 basis points tighter, and 30-year were about 17 basis points tighter. And we saw munis anywhere from 10 to 12 basis points tighter across the curve. Um, and kind of as we were alluding to, you know, there was some data this morning and some of that data kind of highlighted the strength of the labor market. So we saw the non-farm number come in at 339,000, which was higher than the estimate of 195,000. And we saw last month's number was revised up to 294,000 from 253,000 that was originally reported. And then kind of on the contrary, we saw unemployment come in slightly higher than expected at 3.7% versus the 3.5% estimate. And we are seeing treasuries, you know, kind of sell off on the back of this release with the 30 year being around a 386 at the time of this video on Friday morning. And that's not uncommon. The, the unemployment data and the job creation data actually comes from two different surveys. Historically, the market has paid more attention to the survey of establishments, employers. That's where the job creation data comes from. And that's what shows a stronger environment uh, and, and, and uh, fostering that sell off in treasuries. The, uh, the unemployment rate comes from a survey of households. I think the market has historically not taken that one as, as, as gospel as much as the other one. Uh, so when they, they disagree like this, you're more likely to go with the establishment data. That's kind of what you're seeing in the market today. What about on the technical side? Uh, we saw another week of outflows from uh, municipal bond mutual funds, a little bit over a billion dollars, according to Lipper. Um, we are seeing, as you mentioned, the calendar is, uh, if not mounting, uh, stable at a higher level than we saw for most of the month of May. Uh, any uh, comments on that? Yeah, so the calendar, you know, continued to kind of be strong this week. You know, BAM had a good week. We priced around 38 million across eight series in three states. And, you know, kind of as we move into next week, we definitely see the calendar building. As of right now, it seems to be about nine and a half billion so far. And it, you know, it kind of seems like the forward calendar is also strong. So, you know, I think we're going to, you know, see some supply over the next, you know, couple of weeks or so, which, you know, kind of lines up nicely with, the summer redemption months as we move into, you know, June, July, August. Um, so I think that, you know, hopefully the the new issue that we see hit the market, um, you know, will be digested nicely. And, you know, one deal, at least for next week that we're going to be watching um, is the 78 million Alvord Unified School District in Riverside County, California, that's going to be priced by Stiefel. And Todd Thomas and I, uh, Todd from BAM's West Coast office, uh, did a Credit Insights video on that transaction. It's available on BAM's YouTube page. Uh, just walking through how we analyze uh, California school district GOs, that's really the, the main uh, focus of school financing in the state of California. And we talk about how uh, investors can approach those sectors with uh, Albert as a case study. So we encourage everybody to take a look at that. Uh, one other thing just to, to highlight, I know there's some chatter about once the debt ceiling is, is fully uh, resolved with president's signature, there are going to be some price some short-term disruptions in that market as the treasury gets back to selling bonds in a way they haven't done for the last few months. Uh, you know, they, they had started taking a, what they call extraordinary measures to, to manage federal cash flow going back, I think, five or six months now. And so there's a lot of uh, debt issuance that, that would have come in, in the last couple of months that may be coming. Uh, so we'll see how that supply impacts uh, other fixed income markets like municipals, but something to keep an eye on over the summer. So thanks for uh, your time and uh, insights this week, Morgan. We'll uh, talk to you soon. Have a good weekend.